How you doing guys? This is Brian here. I'm, uh, I wanted to talk about CCIB real quick. I know it's late, but um, I wanted to make this video for this week um, in case you're trying to, let's say, uh, swing CCIB or whatever you're trying to do with it. So what you're looking at here is the chart for CCIB since February when we reached uh, 60, almost 65 bucks. Since then, we had been on a downtrend, and I had been I have been covering CCIB uh, quite a few times, you know, for the past few months uh, in this channel. So right now we're at a very interesting point. We actually broke resistance for a breakout, which is what I was calling way back then. Um, we actually broke resistance for the breakout, and if you follow me on Twitter, you would have known this because I've been tweeting about. CCIB and this, you know, I actually announced this breakout this morning. I said if we are really close to a res the, you know, that resistance to breakout level, which you can see right here. And I said if we break it and we stay above 24.5, then we should be good to go for a breakout. Now, you see this trend right here. This has been uh, playing since the first of this month uh, when we were just at 20 and then we broke out in this uptrend now if we can keep this uptrend going our next resistance um, I believe is gonna be around $28 28.5 uh, this is the goal right here uh, a little bit above 30 right that's where a lot of people are expecting the price to go I'm not sure about that I can definitely tell you that I bought um, calls right down here and I also talked about those calls on Twitter so um, all right, let me go to the five minute view just to give you some numbers um, for you to play with. So we broke resistance, right? So we're on our way up now. If we keep this going, like I said, we could reach, you know, our next resistance point is going to be around 28 or so. Uh, you know, obviously 27, 28, but those big resistances around 28 and the biggest ones around 30. Uh, for tomorrow, Right now we're around 26.45. Now, if you're trying to swing CCIB, I wouldn't buy up here, because most likely it'll retrace a little bit. As you can see, the RSI is pretty high right now, 58. Um, actually, let me look at this RSI for the four hour, 78. So it's due for a cool down, you see? The RSI is all the way up here. And when it hits this level right here, it, it pulls back a little bit. So right now we're at that point. Um, so I would, be, I believe that it may pull back tomorrow. So this red uh, rectangle you see right here is pretty much what I have um, labeled as my, my, my support area. Um, if, you're, if, you've been in, if you've watched my videos before, I usually create support areas rather than just levels because sometimes it's better to know that you know even if you let's say you have your support at 26 and then you see it dropping a little more if you just have one line as your level and sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't then you're gonna sell quickly but if you have an area like this where you know it could stay in between but this is support then most likely you're gonna stay calm and then you're just gonna remain in your position and then you'll see a retrace back in the uptrend so my support levels here are 25.5 which is the strongest and then actually never mind the strongest is 24.5 but for tomorrow i believe 25.5 and then obviously anywhere from 25.80 to 26.38 which is exactly where we are right now so this is just pretty much following the app trend but if you can, you can put these numbers down on your chart, uh, create this rectangle here. If you have Weeble, Weeble is pretty good. I think I have a link in my description if you want to uh, sign up for Weeble. They give you uh, two free stocks, I think, or one. And then, like I said, this point right here, we could retest or actually test this support at 24.5. If we do, then that's fine. As long as we stay above it, we're good. Remember, if we stay above 24.5, we're good for a breakout. Now we are right now, but like I said, the RSI is pretty high. So 
We're looking for that RSI to cool down a little bit, to pull back. It's always healthy for a pullback. As long as we keep going with this trend, we're good to go. Uh, and then, so like I said, yeah, 25.5, and then I would expect the CCAV tomorrow to pull back just a little bit. And somehow, uh, not somehow, to pull back and then, uh, and then, um, use this trend line here as a support and bounce off of it or either the support area so i would say it would probably come down a little bit to 25 high 25s that's where you can grab it for a swing trade if you really believe that it'll keep going up if not i would wait for 24.5 if we end up pulling back to 24.5 that's your chance to get back in and buy again now that's if we pull back to 24.5 if not if we're gonna keep ripping, we're not gonna pull back to 24.5 and we're just, we're gonna just bounce off of this line or this support area and then we're saying goodbye. Now, that's up to you. I, in my opinion, for a day trade, if I see it bouncing off of this line, I'm getting in right there. Um, if I see it, it's not really sure about the price, like it's fluctuating a lot and it's not really a strong bounce, then I would wait a little bit. But those are your numbers for CCIB. That's just a technical analysis, no fundamentals. So that's just for tomorrow. If you wanna follow me on Twitter, I think my link is also in the description. Sometimes I tweet about my plays. We have been doing extremely good. Today, I think I had a couple of plays with over 50% in profits for just a day trade. Um, Clover Health, I actually talked about Clover Health when it was in $9. And it went all the way up to 12 and then 13 in the after hours. So I bought calls when I was at around 9 and I sent a tweet about that. So I was above like 65% or something. Um, and then we had NEO again. I talked about NEO when it was around 41 or 40. And it went all the way up to 44. I'm still in NEO. I bought calls. I'm still like 50% up in my calls. I'm waiting for it to go up to 47 or 50. Uh, most likely 47, I'm gonna sell over there. So that was Neo, that was Clover Health. Um, what else did I buy? Obviously AMC and Blackberry, I bought those when it was at 13 Blackberry and right now it's at 16, so pretty good there. Um, yeah, well, I had other plays um, and I'm looking at other stocks right now. So if you want to follow me on Twitter, like I said, sometimes I send tweets and stuff. Uh, not all the time, but when I do, it's when I have a strong conviction of a stock. And, you know, I'm telling you, hey, this is what I'm doing. If you'd like to know or, you know, if we want to look, if you want to look into it, you know. So, all right. That was it for tonight. Good luck tomorrow. I'm hoping to see you tomorrow in another video. And I'm hoping to cover AMC a little uh, since, you know, we've, we're dealing with the uh, squeeze short squeeze if you'd like to know about short squeezes and what it is fundamentals and all the questions you've probably have about short squeezes i made a video a couple days ago and i will link it down at the end of this video so you can see it and check it out and, and learn everything that is to learn about short squeezes so have a good night